As we head full steam into the 2020 presidential election, yet another social media landmine has surfaced. The art of doctored videos and manipulated images. This past week, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was the victim of at least two manipulated videos. And the question now, who should be the censor, if anyone? It's not all that new, but doctored videos are now appearing with more regularity. Doctored videos are so-called sort of deep fakes that look shockingly real. Well, not really. Take a look at the real video followed by the fake one. And then he had a press conference in the Rose Garden with all this um, short sort of visuals. And then he had a press conference in the Rose Garden with all this um, short sort of visuals. YouTube removed the video while Twitter and Facebook left it up. CNN's Anderson Cooper grilled a Facebook spokeswoman about that decision. Why keep it up, though? Yeah. We think it's important for people to make their own informed choice about what to believe. But it's not accurate and I think information. If you, this is the conversation. The conversation is not about people believing this video. It's that they are discussing the fact that it was manipulated. In further explaining their position, Facebook told The Washington Post, we don't have a policy that stipulates that the information you post on Facebook must be true. Fox follows those rules, too. This week, its cable business channel aired a different doctored video of Pelosi, which appears to show her stammering through a press conference. To, to uh, make pass that, not to, uh, if we, where Fox unapologetically aired the bogus video, prompting New York Times opinion writer Farhad Manju to write, to focus on Facebook instead of Fox News is to mistake the symptom for the disease, a disease that's likely to fester for as long as gatekeepers allow. All right, Facebook's lame explanations aside, I don't want them taking this video down. You know, it's one thing if they stop a live stream or something, the guy in New Zealand who is killing everybody, I, I, can, I see them interviewing, but... I'm not sure they're the right ones to be the journalistic gatekeepers. I don't want them to be that. They say they have experts out there who are really editing and looking at some of this stuff. That's fine, but they should not. They are not in the news business. I don't want them being the yeah, editors. Yeah, they are. This oh, is no. a. This yes, is they they're the are. aggregation yeah. business. No, this is a very difficult call, and Agreed. I have no sympathy for Facebook whatsoever. But this is a very difficult call. What if the manipulated video of Nancy Pelosi was like really obviously fake? Is that okay? Do you take that down? I mean, it's just a mess. We've talked about this before. How do we have a different standard for Facebook than we do for the Internet generally? Um, I think that... We don't. I, it, well, Everything still exists. Well, exactly, exactly. All this stuff is going to continue to be out there no matter right. what. Uh, I think that Fox going and making their own fake videos is considerably more irresponsible mm -hmm. than Facebook trying to figure out what to do about stuff that their members are sharing. I don't agree with that. Facebook reaches many, many more people than Fox does. And in a way that people are much likelier to swallow, I would argue. And Emily... You know, I'm technically inept, but uh, uh, any savvy 17-year-old could go out, drop about 25 bucks on, uh, uh, well, Radio Shack no longer exists. That shows you what a square I am, but at some, at, at Best Buy yeah. or whatever, and create a deep fake mm -hmm. version of you yep. on yep. Beat the Press uh, endorsing pedophilia. Mm -hmm. Would you feel then that that content ought to remain up? I don't think you would. I think you'd want to Spans take it brand. <laughs> yeah, it's my brand. Yeah, it's not brand compliant at all. I think they do have an obligation. Yeah. Once it's identified, they, there's so much crap going through that sewage pipe. They can't monitor it all. They just can't. But they when can't they know it. it's fake, they should take it right down. You know, I, I agree with Emily. I think it's almost impossible to do. I think the situation with Fox News is far more egregious. And I think the worst part of this is President Trump, the man who on a daily basis screams fake news, bends the hypocrisy meter by posting this on Twitter. And the Lou Dobbs cut yes. from, from fr uh, that to me is the most distressing, awful part of all of this. He's complicit in this. And then complaining that she's and, losing it. It's all making it like it when he complains about fake news, he really means news that's bad for him. For him, of course, right. of course, of course, right. right. Um, I, I'm with John here. <laughs> the, this is actually the thing. I've had little dalliances before with deleting my Facebook account. This mm -hmm. is the one that made me 
do it. You I'm did gonna it? let it run out. I, I've initiated it, and it has to, you, you wait 30 days, and eventually right. it takes 30 days. It takes 30 days. Well, they want you to come back, right? Mm -hmm. They want you to change your mind. Uh, I'm still on like Twitter, although Twitter hasn't covered themselves in glory here. But Emily, when when you think about it, uh, Facebook will get rid of you know a picture of a woman breastfeeding because they deem it offensive. Yeah. So if they're going to do that, they're already setting themselves up as a gatekeeper. I don't want them doing that either. Well, but but the thing is, they're they doing do both, it. and I think one of them is a lot more dangerous to mm. the future of American. I mean, if it incites just, violence, I agree with it. I do too. You know, that's that's my. That's my threshold. I'm not sure how, how often, I mean, in this case, the, the Pelosi video, I, you know, I would agree it doesn't incite violence yeah. clearly. But, I mean, they've been slow with that stuff, too. And sometimes I think the line I, I is know, blurry. I know. So, 